This is how we convert to base 12 from a base 10 number. So our number, 3497, I'm going to put a little base 10 here. Normally you don't have to do that when we're talking every day because we all, well, barring some horrible accident, we all have 10 fingers and so we know we're talking about 3,497. What we need to do is figure out how to say this as if we had 12 fingers. So what we do is we want to look at this and see what this would mean in terms of how many sets of 1728, remember this is 12 times 12 times 12, how many sets of 144, this is 12 times 12, how many sets of 12, and then how many singles. So, here are the blanks that I'm looking to fill in. Uh-oh, my little plus sign got a little crazy there, didn't it? So, the first thing I need to do is to divide the highest number of powers of 12 into this that I can. I didn't just start here because 144 into this is going to be a huge number and it's I can, I can look at it and tell it's going to be more than 12. So I, if this is even bigger, you might have to go up to 12 times 12 times 12 times 12. So 1728 into 3497 goes twice. 2 times 8 is 16. Do some arithmetic here. Subtract, and I have 41. So I have two sets of 1728 with a remainder of 41. So I take this 41 and I go, okay, how many times does 144 go into 41? Well, none. So I have zero sets of 144. So then how many times does 12 go into 41? Okay, well, that we can do. 12 goes into 41, let's say 3 times, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 1 is 3, 36, 41, that's remainder 5. So there's 3, remainder 5. 3 sets of 12, and this is the real 12, this is not um, the digits of base 12, so we can use the word 12 here. Remainder 5, which means 5 singles. So this represents two sets of 1728, zero sets of 144, three sets of 12, and five singles. So this is our number base 12. So 3497 base 10 is 2035 base 12. Remember not to pronounce this as 2035 because that implies a base 10 system. 2035 base 12. And that's how to convert to base 12 from base 10.